I guess it was a couple of days ago or two days ago when I was in Macon and mentioned again this morning to a bunch of our friends in the media. Uh, we had a large dump of test results from a private sector vendor over the weekend. They had a, a big backlog, around 15,000 cases that tracked back to April. You know, the bad news was they had a big backlog of cases. The good news is they're now caught up and they dumped those all into the system over a you know, a two-day period, I think it was Saturday and either Monday or Tuesday. Uh, so we feel like that is the reason for the spike in, in the cases. I can assure you that Dr. Toomey and I and our whole teams continue to watch that data. I'd be glad to let her uh, speak to that. But none of that is being caused by any one incident anywhere. We think it's just because those tests were all dumped at one time. Our numbers continue to look good. They looked uh, even better today. Our hospital bed capacity continues to look good. I just got a, a text a little while ago from Piedmont. Their COVID patient number in their hospitals is up slightly, uh, but they were telling me it was all due to nursing home patients that they're getting. So that continues to be where our battle is. Uh, I will say, I think the good thing about where we are right now with the, um, with the testing that we're doing, with the contact tracing, and, and literally just the teams that we have in place, you can see really what great work everyone did in Hall County and we continue to do. I know uh, our insurance and fire safety commissioner, General John King is gonna be doing a town hall tonight with some of the uh, members of the Latino media. Uh, he continues to do outreach to that community, which was where we saw the spike in cases. Uh, they have really gotten on top of that. The hospital is reporting that they feel like they have reached their peak. Uh, we have the mobile unit up. Thankfully, I don't think it's had to be used yet uh, or, or sending patients to other folks, uh, other places. If it was, it wasn't much. So we are, we are moving to those uh, places of concern very quickly. We're continuing to do that in some of our nursing homes and long-term care facilities. So. Nothing in the data that we're seeing right now uh, alarms us. Obviously, I wouldn't have made these moves if Dr. Toomey was not comfortable with that. 